What's up guys, Eric here with driverlineup.com, world's located steering wheel holder, rocking the DL t-shirt, which you can get on driver's driver driverlineup.com if you wanna. It is Saturday, we're still not gone. Um, we had potentially thought that we had an air leak yesterday, Travis Kenley and Lyle from No Hippie Trucking Transportation helped us figure out that it's not an actual air leak. Um, some of the things that you learn in training came in handy yesterday that Travis Kenley was more familiar than I was with on your pre-trip air brake test. So anyway, I'll tell that whole story at a later time. Uh, but we're getting ready to leave out here in the next 24 hours from Springfield. Uh, and it's kind of a, I don't know, kind of a solemn, I wouldn't say solemn moment, but kind of a, a you know, we've really become quite comfortable, comfortable with our current Peterbilt. Um, so it's, you know, it's kind of bittersweet to be leaving on our final trip with our current Peterbilt, which is the General Flynn, which is that truck's name. Um, and, you know, just kind of like, this is the last time. This is the last, this is going to be a long run. We're going out for five to six weeks probably stop in Springfield for maybe a couple days somewhere in that um, in that run you know just to do laundry and stuff like that but yeah five to six weeks we're headed out and when we come back for an extended amount of home time we'll have our brand new 2022 Peterbilt so so yeah this is the last time that we're going out with this truck um, and it's kind of weird, you know? I, it wasn't weird getting rid of the Freightliner because we just wanted rid of the Freightliner. Uh, not that the Freightliner was a bad truck. It was a great truck. It was just too rough for me to sleep in. So I was like, I just wanted out of that truck. I do want my own truck, of course. So I'm excited about the fact that this is going to be, it's going to be our truck, you know, not just a truck that we're just leasing. So I'm really excited about that. But our current Peterbilt's been running really good for us. It's been really good to us. It's been making us great money and just kind of, you know, we feel like it's hit its stride and it's really, <laughs> I think it's just like, okay, well now we gotta go work in it. We gotta go break in another truck, you know? And a lot of you guys are looking at us as guinea pigs because we have the new 2022 body style and uh, several drivers have been like, yeah, we're just gonna watch and see what kind of problems you have. <laughs> so it's kind of like, you know, we have a truck that's nice and broken in and ready to rock and we're about to walk away from it. It's got 104,000 miles on it. So it's, it's just now broken in, you know. But yeah, we're getting ready to take it out on its last run. Um, when we bring that thing back to Springfield, we'll be turning it in. So we're we're kind of gonna have to we're kind of gonna have to take the truck to the house and offload everything because we're gonna turn that truck in the second we get back to Springfield. We're not gonna we're not gonna hold on to it for any length of time at all. We're gonna drop it the second we go off to, to get to Springfield. Whether or not then we might come back to Springfield on like the second second or third of July drop the truck off the other one's supposed to be in springfield on the 7th or 8th the last update i got was that it was on time we got the vin number we're supposed to pick our truck number here in the next um week or two and uh i've already gone and paid for all the graphics at stripes and stuff so hopefully we'll be ready to sign all the new paperwork a week after we drop the other truck off but i don't want to have I don't want to have to pay for a week, you know, having our current truck. So it's just weird starting to get into the mode of thinking through those steps, you know. It seemed like it was so far away, and now it's like right up on us. <clears throat> Which makes me think it's going to be really fast. Uh, it's going to be really quick to where I'm all of a sudden like, hey, we got to go back to Springfield. 
and pick up our Freightliner because we have a Freightliner Cascadia that's coming in uh, September or October. Um, so we're gonna have to orchestrate with Brad, our driver, uh, to get him set up with that truck. So I think that's gonna come creep up on us really fast too. So um, it's just kind of weird that it, there was a time where it felt like this is so far away until we have our new truck that we're purchasing. And now it's like, holy crap, like we're gonna have two trucks that we're purchasing seemingly really quick. So anyway, that's our uh, situation. We are probably gonna go up to Indiana and get a brand new trailer, Bobtail up there. Um, long time subscribers of the channel, you guys know that's what we love doing if it's available. I'd rather do that than take some crappy load off the yard because that gets us up into our absolutely favorite reload area. Uh, we get paid a little over 500 bucks to Bobtail up there. And then we've got a brand new clean trailer that we just have to put fuel in and we're ready to rock. So I'm hoping that's what we can do either super late tomorrow or first thing tomorrow morning. I know there were 25 of them, I think, available yesterday because um, there's they're having like a trailer shortage on the East Coast. So they're trying to get a lot as many uh, trailers into rotate, excuse me, rotation as possible. So that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, today we've been running around trying to stock the truck as much as possible so that we don't have to go home for any extended period of time over the next six weeks. So just buying everything we can think of, plenty of fluids, coffee, um, stuff for our cachava shakes, spinach, sandwich meat, cheese for our wraps. We like, we love doing wraps on the road. Um, vitamins, leave all that good stuff just stocking up on as much as possible so that we're so we can just go run hard for six weeks um that's what we're doing but yeah i just wanted to quick do a quick video it's weird weird that we're going on our last run in this truck here it is <laughs> freaking weird anyway guys i just want to drop that update for you uh i did say the other day that i have my video about the order of the new truck the second truck. Uh, I didn't get to edit that yesterday morning, so I'm gonna edit it as soon as I get back to the house today, which is Saturday, so that's gonna go up tonight, Saturday night. And then I have videos scheduled all throughout the week. I had, I got, I hung out with Travis Kenley, so I got a video with him. I got a video with Prime Trucker Rob. I got a video with Days Gabe, Heathens Trucking. Um, what else, my TNT trainer, I ran into him yesterday at Prime, so I got a video with him, and all those are already done and scheduled, so it's gonna be a, a plenty of videos coming up for you guys next week that are already already uploaded and ready to rock, um, so looking forward to that. All right, guys, be safe, make good decisions. As always, drive to thrive. Talk to you guys soon.